Entering Bond Trades. Before we dive into entering bond trades in your trading portfolio, we want to stress the importance of doing your research. Two great websites to start your research are Emma and FINRA's Bond Center. Direct links to those sites are in the description of this video. Emma.msrb.org can assist with your municipal bond research. Click on your state to access a list of bond issuers and QCIPs. FINRA-markets.morningstar.com backslash bond center is another excellent bond resource. You can click search, select the bond type, and enter the QCIP to look up information on a specific bond, or just select the bond type and click search to receive a list of bonds. Now, we'll walk you through the bond trade page in your stock market game trading portfolio. Visit www.stockmarketgame.org and click login. Then enter your student trading portfolio ID and password. Navigate to the enter a trade page by hovering over trade and clicking enter a trade and then click bond trade. The stock market game has a selection of municipal, corporate and treasury bonds from the open market available to trade in your trading portfolio. These bonds are investment grade with S&P ratings of BBB or higher. You can browse the bonds available to trade by clicking search for bonds. For corporate bonds, enter text to search for bonds issued by a company. For example, you may be interested in searching for bonds issued by Microsoft. Type in Microsoft and click search corporate bonds. For municipal bonds, search for bonds issued in a state by selecting the state in the dropdown and clicking search municipal bonds. You can also add in text to narrow your search. Finally, click search government bonds to see a list of all tradable government bonds in the SMG system. You can click the bond symbol to learn more about the specific bond. Please note that the QCIP number is a unique identification number assigned to all registered bonds. In SMG, the QCIP number is preceded by a prefix of CO for corporate, MU for municipal bonds, or TR for treasury. You can also sort by the top column, including next payment date. Bonds are often long dated and do not mature within an SMG session, but you can look for a bond that has a coupon payment date within your game session. If you hold the bond on its coupon payment date, you are the holder of record and receive that coupon payment. Finally, click trade if you wish to trade the bond. If you know the QCIP of the bond you wish to trade, you can enter the QCIP number with the correct bond prefix to validate the bond and trade. Remember, add CO for corporate, MU for municipal, or TR for treasury and click Validate Bond to ensure that it is the right security. Corporate and municipal bonds can only be purchased or sold in $1,000 increments, and treasury bonds can only be purchased or sold in $100 increments. For example, let's go ahead and buy $1,000 in a municipal bond. Select Buy and enter the SMG bond prefix and QCIP. Next, we'll click Validate Bond to check that we're trading the right security. Municipal bond orders can be bought in increments of 1,000. So let's enter 1,000 here. Then click Preview Bond Trade. Review the information on this page to make sure it's correct. Then enter your password and click Confirm Bond Trade. You will then see a trade order confirm message with information on where to view the transaction in the pending orders page. Bond trades always execute at the end of the business day. So if you enter a bond trade during market hours, the trade will appear in pending orders and execute at the end of the business day. If you enter a bond trade outside of market hours, the trade will execute at the end of the next business day. You can access the pending orders page by hovering over trade and clicking pending orders. After the trade executes, a record of the transaction appears in transaction notes. You can access the transaction notes page by hovering over trade 
and clicking transaction notes. Question to consider, what is a QSIP? Thank you for watching.